good evening. It's been a little while, and I'm doing a little bit of a a little bit of an experiment, a little bit of a test um, to see. I had some uh, internet service upgrades that maybe I can get back into streaming a little bit. Would be nice. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, thought I'd come back home here and get back to, get back into Breath of the Wild. Uh, but we're gonna do a little bit something different. Um, namely, we're going to be using Steam Controller. That's right. We are emulating Breath of the Wild. And the reason for this is because, um, I still don't have a, a capture device. Uh, the one that I had is dead uh, and I haven't found one that is going to be sufficient for both Windows and Linux usage that I want to get yet. Uh, I'm still evaluating a few of them and so yeah I figured in the meantime I would start playing Breath of the Wild on an emulator and what my ultimate goal is, my ultimate plan, is to go ahead and basically speed through everything that I've done in the game, uh, which I'll probably do in like a series of several streams, um, probably a lot of them with no mic, just playing the game. Um, but I'm going to run through all the stuff that I've done with cheats enabled, so that way I can just blow through everything. I don't have to worry about weapons breaking. I don't have to worry about dying. I don't have to worry about any of that crap. Just get to where I was, flip off the cheats, and pick up where I left off on the actual series. Uh, that's the hope, at least. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what we've been. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing. And I, I basically, I turned off the. Um, just bump the mic there. I turned off the the gyro little. I don't know, the icons that that showed the gyro moving on the bottom of the Steam controller just because they never really lined up properly. Uh, but the gyro is still enabled. And uh, yeah, I'll show you. It's a pretty basic controller configuration. Uh, the main difference bet besides a, uh, a standard gamepad, and of course this is... Uh, uh, not showing to be anything. It's because I have a gyro emulator that allows uh, the the CMU, the emulator that I'm using, to recognize the Steam Controller gyro as the full three-axis gyro that the, uh, the like the Wii U gamepad would have or the Switch Pro controller would have. Um, it worked great using it as like with a mouse like joystick except for in the the few shrines that have gyro puzzles where you may have to turn the controller completely upside down or you need to you had pitch and yaw control but not roll control so i ended up uh ended up finding a, a steam controller gyro emulator specifically for uh, the CM, the CMU hook that goes into the CMU emulator, and it it works out pretty good. Um, but yeah, other than that, the main difference is I went with mouse like joystick instead of instead of using a regular joystick. Uh, I tested out playing it with regular joystick stuff, and it worked fine. The thing that I didn't like though is because the gyro emulator it would hand off control. So on the Switch, they work simultaneously. Like I can use the gyro and the stick at the same time. But on CMU, and I'm assuming the Wii U has the same thing, it works the same way. But on CMU, it, if I touch the joystick, or if I touch the pad to, uh, to get to the joystick, it would shut down the gyro until I let go of the pad. 
or at least until I stop sending input on the pad. So with mouse like joystick on there, since it functions like a mouse, if I stop moving my thumb, it stops sending joystick input. And then the regular gyro can take back over. So this works out pretty good. And I've got it tweaked to where it feels a lot using a mouse. And I, <laughs> in my testing, I've really been enjoying uh, the way that this, the way that this works. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to continue because I've, I've only done the plateau and I've only gotten to uh, the one shrine that I knew for sure was a gyro shrine in Hatano village just to test it out. Uh, so now we're just going to erase that and start over from scratch. And I'm not going to leave this, the steam controller HUD up uh, in for the full duration or whatever. I just want to have it up for a little bit. But I'll end up hiding it that way. It's not obscuring any of the screen. <clears throat> I started thinking about that when I was doing my um, portal stories, Mel. It's like, no, I don't need that up all the time. It's nice to, nice to do it for tutorials and things like that, but it doesn't need to be there all the time. But I don't know, maybe I'll do... Oh, maybe someday we'll do like push the screen so it doesn't do the full screen and it has like a sidebar with information and stuff like that if I ever get to that point where I feel like I need to have stuff like that I I don't know that I'm ever going to get to that point though I just enjoy playing games and I don't need to I don't need to have sub notifications and and, and bits and all this other crap that goes on I'm quite happy with just playing the games. Wake up, Link. And I gotta say, this game looks fucking beautiful in 1080p. And I'm sure it looks great in 4K too. But I've, I've really been surprised, like looking at the, uh, looking at like the graphics pack for 1080p, it actually increases the graphics somehow like the textures are still real low resolution but it's like the it's almost like it has dynamically generated normal maps or something and so all the bumps look finer all of the uh, uh the shape of things just looks better and that's incredible Yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing... Oh, yeah, I need to probably... Oh, yeah, and that's another thing I found. I found a UI replacer that gives me the Steam Controller layout. Um, I actually have the buttons mapped the same way that they are on the Switch. So it, it maps everything the way that it should be, which is nice. And we're going to invert, oh yeah, invert vertical. Yes, I want that. Very fast is good. Motion on, tab, yep, yep, yep. And I think while I'm doing these real quick playthroughs and stuff, I'm probably gonna leave the, the Pro HUD on just because I really like the way that that looks. Uh, but when I get back to where I was, I'll turn it back to the normal. But yeah, as you can see, Steam controller is working. Come on, come on. Stuff. We got. Yep. Oh, yeah, and I mapped crouch to the bottom grip, but it's also the stick click. And I also mapped jump. Not only to B, well, whatever the default is in the game, I've got it flipped on mine. Uh, normally it's Y, but I've got it to be, and then also on the bottom grip. And I'll show you why I do that shortly. Oh yeah, you see the little ABXY is laid out like it's the scene controller. 
But the buttons are in the same place that they are on the Switch. That way, when I go back and actually that play on the Switch, because I've been playing um, it will help yeah, on Master Mode, I don't get completely fucked up trying to <laughs> trying to remap my brain playing the exact same game, you know? God damn, that's good. You know, since we've seen it all before, all the dialogue and everything, I'm probably not gonna read anything out. I'm probably not going to worry about if I'm talking over uh, the actual dialogue that's going on on the screen. No, no stamina that I need Hold to worry about. Up to the pedestal. I don't need to worry about getting that hit. Will show you the way. So I'll be able to hopefully in hopefully get through this relatively quickly. I mean, we're still talking about 120 shrines. Well, no, sorry, 132 shrines because there was 12 added and five divine beasts. <laughs> to get through and I need to get at least enough Korok seeds to get my inventory maxed out. And then I don't know if I'm going to really worry about Link. making sure that I have the exact same inventory. I, I doubt that I'm going to get that anal All about right. it. That must but uh, but yeah, I'm going to again. get a map. Now go. I should open that up while I'm doing this. Think about it. Eh, I'll do that later. I kind of know this area already. But I do, uh, I do think I'm going to do a map that has all of the Korok locations and all the shrine locations. That way I'm not really having to hunt for them. And I'll stick to the ones that I've that I know I've already collected, like the first, I was looking at the map uh, the other day when I was doing some of this testing and it's like, oh yeah, I've cleared out pretty much everything in the Great Plateau, Central Hyrule, Hatano, and most of, uh, uh, most of, oh, it's that one, Farron. Um, the only thing I haven't done in, in the Central Hyrule is that there's some that are at the castle that I haven't gotten to. So that's doable. It's, it's kind of weird because you can actually kill things with a tree branch now since it doesn't, uh, since it doesn't degrade. that was there and then I remembered it too late and that one too Also grabbed some amiibo. 
uh, NFC tag so I can get my I can get a Pona back. Um, and supposedly supposed to get a uh, twenty heart wolf link, but there's apparently a bug in Simi right now. Um, because my actual wolf link amiibo has twenty hearts on it, even though I've never used it actually. Um, but the uh, the it only does the three hearts, and it's apparently a bug that's been in since like CMU 1.9 or something like that, and they haven't figured it out yet. Uh, we're gonna set things on fire. And I'm gonna steal your apple. And I think uh, what I'll also be doing, uh, I'll probably be playing some music. Just kind of, kind of like what I was doing without the mic uh, before. It's going to be kind of fun to play with this. Yeah. It's always it's always kind of fun to to be able to cheat every now and then. But it's going to be uh, particularly fun for some of the more troublesome areas. Is why I put the jump on the uh, the grip because you know on the on the switch it, it, when you when you sprint it will actually give you like a, a second or two after letting off the sprint button to hit the jump button but it's like um, it's not always exact. And I've run off of cliffs before. Uh, this way, I can actually be doing the sprint button and the jump button at the same time. And I'll just run off a cliff <laughs> completely. Oh, man. Just like that. It also means I can climb quickly. Oh, yeah. Change that. Since I don't have to worry about stamina. So, a lot of this, a lot of the game should go really quickly as far as catching back to, catching back up to where I was. Just in case. 
Also, I have infinite arrows. And this is really fucking fun. Infinite arrows, right? So yeah, see, gyro is still working. So a stick. Um, so yeah, five arrows. Still five arrows. And I can go pick them up. And now I have eight arrows. Love it. And I'm bumping the mic with uh, using the gyro. Which is always good. things about having to worry about health yeah. a-okay The one thing it doesn't have, as far as I know, the cheats don't have infinite money. So I will have to do my farming. this butterfly right now, but it's right here, so I'm going to grab him.
that did more damage, but... <clears throat> oh, well. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to figure something else out for the microphone, because using the gyro, I'm trying not to bump the microphone, which means I got a lot more limited space to work in. So I'll figure something out. Looks like that was a video and not done in the engine. Or, well, I mean, it was probably done in the engine, <clears throat> but actually saved as a video and not done in real time. <clears throat> Interesting. You wouldn't think it would be that difficult for them to do it, uh, actually, in real time. <clears throat> also means I don't have to worry about cold. So I can just bust right up to the You have been asleep for the to this area. I don't have to worry about dying years. in the water. <clears throat> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. See that's done in engine now. Because that's definitely higher resolution than the now then, than the other one was. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Ch choices. <clears throat> I just wonder if the if the particle effects, like the dust and the sand coming down, if maybe that was potentially too much for. Uh, the Wii U. <clears throat> oh! Hmm. You can pretty much choose the first option on just about everything. <clears throat> so I can kind of speed through dialogue. Hmm. Oh. Whoops. <clears throat> I'm looking off to the side and not paying attention to the actual screen. I am curious about that, though. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it could be the asshole, but I'm not. <clears throat> Huh. 
But yeah, I'm kind of uh, kind of curious what happens if you jump off. With infinite life. through. Sweet! <laughs> Didn't think I'd find it again. Love not having to worry about sprint. You can still see like the little jaggies from the lower resolution textures, but it, it's like all the bump mapping is crisper, a little bit higher resolution. All of these look better. I don't know. It's just it's all done in engine. Like the graphics pack is not a texture replacer. It's just allows this the thing to run at 1080p properly and it actually still looks pretty good in 1080p and I've seen 4k footage and it looks pretty good in 4k too crazy I'm actually kind of curious though I'm gonna check something all this going on. Yeah. And in theory, I'm in theory broadcasting to Steam as well, Steam, Twitch, and YouTube. Um. Which is cool. Uh, Alright. Oh. Right. Okay. Cool. Alright. Okay, mouse out of the way. Yeah, I'll probably, um, maybe not for this stream because I don't have it already pulled up. <clears throat> but for the next one, I'll get going with the map. Now I can get all the... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a glitch. Thank you. Can we get that off the screen? Thank you. <clears throat> that didn't happen in my testing. limited motion this thing in the way here is it annoying I wonder you know I'll probably 
probably end up maybe flipping my uh come on. Why are you not lifting up? Lift it up. There we go. I'll probably do a um take my microphone and flip it around and that way oh, I didn't even know one of those but okay and this one freaked out like this on me before the other ones don't I don't know why this one does with all the little sparklies and stuff but the other ones so far haven't been doing that, so... I don't know if there's something particular uh, particular about this one being the first one that you go to, that they did something different with him, I don't know. Also, do have it locked at 30 frames a second. Uh, I could go up to 60 or even 90. Uh, I was getting like 90 frames a second in shrines, about 60 on the overworld. Um, but I was noticing that it was essentially layering the music. So for every 30 frames over the normal expected 30 frames a second, it would pull in the same music track again and just layer it over the top and it, the shrine sounded really weird so I uh, don't think I'm going to be doing that Twitch stream to make sure that it is still going. More. Uh -uh. Oh, please don't be doing this every time. and a half.
I'm not sure what's causing that. Excuse me. I'll start with the bombs. And I definitely want to figure out what that... What? Okay. So hopefully temporary glitch. these fuckers anymore. Yeah. I do have to worry about fire. That's the only thing that will destroy wooden... wooden weapons and wooden shields.
<clears throat> I am actually a little bit tempted. I'm, I'm going to probably do some more testing on the, the emulator. Uh, the particularly the gyro emulator. Because I was using it before as like a... Um, using it before as a uh, mouse like joystick and other than the gyro shrines it was working perfectly so I'm kind of tempted to see if it will work together with Let's see if it will work with um <clears throat> the mouse like joystick and then in the actual CMU settings, I can basically disable the gyro emulation until I need it for those particular shrines. And then I can just otherwise use it for you know, the aim. With bounce like joystick, <clears throat> which would be my preferred way of doing it if I can make it work. Either way, we'll get all the <clears throat> bugs and kinks worked out before before the next stream. But yeah, see no weird stuff flickering lights and stuff on this one. I don't know what it is about that first one. Way too close.
my switch shirt. Also have infinite abilities when I get all the uh, uh, the champion powers and stuff. I, think I already picked that one up. Yeah, I did. Somewhere around here, there's a rock that has five rupees underneath it. I thought it was that one or that one. can't get uh, the Pona off of here yet. <laughs> nice. Wolf Link, I have found, is a bit of a psycho. Small woodland creatures and things, they're not safe. I wish I'd been using them in my actual game now. One of the cheats that's enabled though is I can use or rescan as many amiibo as I would like. I don't have the once a day limit or whatever on them. Ah, that lizard. Hatano needs a, a book hoblin. Just a plain old book hoblin. A club, or if he needs an actual specific one. Get the brush rooms here.
one thing though that uh, Wolf Link is not subtle. So there is no sneaking around. been here before. summon him. What are you after? What? Leave the leave the birds alone. <laughs> you psycho. He goes after everything. I kinda love it. But it's also kinda like a little bit on the annoyance side. summoned him on here. Oh, he just... Dice! He just teleports over. Sweet! Shit, the, the goddamn club. in the blast radius. Now, things get fun. With arrows. That, that. Infinite arrows means infinite fire arrows. And shock and ice and bombs. Could 
have sworn one of them did. And there he is. Wait! I can love Wolf Leak. Why have I never used him before? I feel so foolish. Alright. Now I wonder... <clears throat> since he can't follow me in here... Will he come back when I come out? Or am I going to have to resummon him? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's just get this shit off the screen. Come on. Oh, that is, but holy shit, that's annoying. Like audio coming in at <clears throat> that is another thing I noticed too with the emulator it <clears throat> instead of doing the almost like a camera cut from one to another. Oh, gone. Well, yeah, instead of um, the camera cut, like you get on. The switch, it seems to do like a really quick uh, track, like backwards. And I wonder if it's doing the same thing on the switch, but because it's only up to a maximum of 30 frames a second, you're just not seeing it. I 
one thing I did notice, though, is that I can Um, the fire arrows, you can hit like that, and it's gone. Like, it burns up the arrow. So you can't do the, you can't just go and collect all the fire arrows. Oh, you're a blue one. know the kid wants to see that. Did I? Lost. No? For some reason. I didn't have a shield. Anyways, the Hitano kid, he wants... I think it was a spiked Boko club. Not entirely positive now. So I can stop freezing. Even though it's not damaging me. Still better to because it messes up aim and shit like that. Yeah, you can either make him a fish, or you can, or whatever the meal that he was wanting, that you need a fish to get to it. Or you can get up here. One of the other cheats that's in here is the uh, drawing a bow is a lot faster, which means sh shit like uh, the fire arrows and stuff like that happens a lot faster too. Like I, I could basically just click the trigger and let it go, and it would basically be at a fully drawn bow. Kind of nice. are the only times that you get this until you get the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's 
still, yeah, it's still fucked up. No, it does that. Okay. I'm so used to not hitting <clears throat> the skip button. blocking over on all these. Not gonna kill myself. infinite shield on snow and grass but if you hit rocks and stuff then it starts degrading
everything. Some I've never tried. I need these for a uh, quest. not having to not having to worry about weapon durability this early in the game I mean I know like I know I was saying that it's not really that bad once you get off the plateau because weapons are everywhere and that's absolutely true but man watch you while you're on a plateau it's a it's a concern So, <clears throat> I think what I'll be doing is getting heart containers so that I can get the Master Sword quicker. Since I don't need to worry about stamina. And then, uh, what is it? Anything that I need to worry about stamina with? Uh, oh, catching the white horse. I may need to trade some hearts for stamina. Hmm. Be able to catch the royal horse. <clears throat> but I think, just in general, right now, 
I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have opponent anyway, so I don't really need to worry about catching that horse. It's just, uh, I want to do it because it's a quest. I don't think I've ever done this at night either. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. <clears throat> it devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power. There's a shortcut to night chosen by the sword. switch between the Wii U gamepad view and the TV view is ancient relics. Uh, 100 years on ago, the... there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. Yeah, clicking on the window, the uh, see me window. We must follow our ancestors' path. I think you can have both of them up at the same time, kind of like uh, from across <clears throat> kind of like DS and 3DS emulation. The divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, but by default, it all does one at a time. Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Deep below Hyrule Castle, seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed upon the defending princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. 
Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. <clears throat> that princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. Mm. I suggest Not really. <laughs> that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. It's on fire, but it's 
saw something. Glinting. There that I need. Quit scaring all my fireflies away. I just wanted to get it off of the uh, um, question marks. I guess that's one drawback to using the fire arrows for everything.
tickets to I'm gonna wait on those until I get my stealth suit so that way I don't have to worry about them running off. So the, the gyro and the thing still fight. is why I am thinking the best thing to do is going to be using the uh, mouse like joystick for uh, gyro aiming. Oh shit, why did I grab that? as needed.
It's weird how many of these things I actually remember where they are. 
I spent so much time <clears throat> just scouring all these areas. And I know I had every one of them from up here. I think there's even one right around here. I'll have to remember that as I get closer to it. Bitch. Ah, there it is. far away from the hell okay what the fuck where's that like right on this side
Maybe this will help. Until I leave the plateau. I guess that's a possibility. A very distinct possibility. There were 19 up here, but I know that there's one in the Resurrection Shrine that will not... <clears throat> apparently won't activate until I leave the plateau. I think there were 19. Maybe it was 13. This this gyro shit's gonna have to gonna have to go. I want my proper aiming. some bomb arrows first. Actually, what? I'm going to do that. Mouse joystick. And, yep. Behavior. Yep. yep. Rotation. It's all good. Should all be the same. Yeah. So this is going to save that. Call it a point. <clears throat> this is one of the weird things that this does. It doesn't apply the binding till I do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, this is much better. Then I can just enable the actual steam gyro. The CMU gyro, whatever the fuck it's called, the emulator, when I need it. I think this is bomb arrows. Shit, no. testing. I mean, I guess it could be just a random drop, but sure, I got them somewhere.
that was weird. Testing one of those pretty much immediately after <clears throat> after doing the first shrine. Some ice arrows, though. <clears throat> yeah. The hell was that? Ooh. <clears throat> hearts but you'll still drown and stuff like that especially in the mud stuff
<clears throat> Actually, I wonder if I can back away a little bit from the computer and then well, it'll give me a little bit more room for gyro. And what can I get rid of? <clears throat> Let's get rid of that. not having to worry about durability. Alright, so I think that is... Nope. Not yet. A little bit more. Still one more. Oh. Now I'm kind of thinking that I remember where I got bomb arrows. Maybe.
Oh, bitch. before it burns up. didn't know that that would actually work. That's kind of badass. There's where I got the bomb arrows. Instant fire pits. All right, so I think that is more or less everything on the plateau. That's real fucking annoying. Oh, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go get to uh, the dueling peaks. 
tower and the Dueling Peaks stable. And then I think I'm gonna call it a night. I get out of Pona while I'm down here. top of that. Get impatient when I'm trying to quickly go through the dialogue because the the game doesn't give you an option to speed up the dialogue option or to speed up the dialogue. Thank you. 
Okay. <clears throat> hey, friends, it's going well. How are you doing today? Well, morning now, I guess. Trying to do a quick cheat run through to get caught back up to where I was on the switch. annoying as shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got uh probably a little bit over 300 hours on Switch. And basically I got through all the DLC. I got through um all the shrines, uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the Koroxes, things like that. <clears throat> I basically just needed to go through the master trials and go through, um, get back over to my horse here, uh, and go through and beat Ganon. That's really all I had left to do. <clears throat> but my capture card's dead, so I'm using, uh, Seamu, which is an emulator. To, uh, to play it on my computer, which is why I've got the Steam controller and everything going. Yeah, you can uh, you can do that now. It's <clears throat> it's still a little buggy, as you can see from the the glitchy flashing thing on the on the map screen there. It wasn't doing that before, but um, I'm not sure why it's doing it now. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, it for the most part plays pretty good, and uh, at least through my uh, through my testing, I haven't noticed anything major game breaking going on uh, you basically you uh, a couple ways you can do it you can either take the um, take the most mostly illegal route of downloading ISOs uh, which are like game files uh, and get the CMU emulator, or you can modify your Wii U and basically copy your own discs and pull those off onto your computer and be able to use them. And that's the uh, that's the route that I've gone. Yeah, once you've got the actual disk file off, you got to pull off all the DLC that you purchased. You got to pull off the uh, any updates that have been done uh, that are actually on the disk. And uh, all right, I need to sell some stuff. Yeah. And then that way, yeah, it can be uh, be up to date. I'm starting a stream. Breath of the Wild, but starting streaming on Switch, I know is really fiddly. Uh, it's not too bad on Switch to to stream it. You just need a capture card to be able to bring it in. And unfortunately, mine died a couple of months ago, and I just haven't I haven't found one that I want to get it replaced with because I'm looking for something that will work on both um, Windows and Linux because uh, I dual boot <clears throat> and that uh, trying to. Trying to oh. figure out what I'm gonna go with. And. Oh, 
Shrink one of those. Wow! Now I can register a Pona here. Hey, Bimmel, how are you doing tonight? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I need to pay attention. <laughs> Restless horse. Hey. Uh, yes. Hi. Hmm. And of course, for the <clears throat> uh, for the NFC, the way that you can get that is if you have the amiibo and uh, like an Android phone, you can pull off the NFC tags from that. Uh, otherwise, you can again, kind of the semi shady way of doing it is uh, just go and find a place that down you can download them from. that thing fixed yeah I think I'm gonna call it for night a night and uh, if at all possible I'm gonna try to again get back into this tomorrow because I've got a long way to go to catch up to where I was and I need to do it as soon as possible not techy enough to do all the illegal stuff yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh, yeah and it's not that it's too hard to do, but it, it's definitely better if you can do it the the non-illegal way, I guess, technically. Uh, may I stop by tomorrow then? Sweet. Look forward to seeing you then. Alright, y'all have a good night, and uh, I should probably save, actually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.